Hey guys, so Jane here from Legion Gaming. This video, we're going to be looking at what I think are the two best guns in Call of Duty World War II. I'm also going to add some honorable mentions in here because these are obviously personal preference. Right now, we don't necessarily have hard stats on what the best guns are in the game. So a lot of this is just my personal preference on what I think the two best guns are in the game. And obviously, this could all change its beta, and this could even change day to day. Because yesterday, the SCG was the best gun in the game, and they nerfed that today. So obviously, it's not the best gun anymore. Although it is up there, it's definitely one of the better guns in the game. It's for sure the best AR in the game, but I don't think it's the best gun in the game anymore. Now, the two guns we're going to be looking at today, one of them is the, called the WAF 32. Uh, I liked, a lot of people are calling it the Waffle or the Wafer or something like that, but pretty sure it's called the WAF 32. Um, and the other one's the Type 100. Uh, the Type 100, I thought, was one of the better guns. I've been using this, it's sort of like a pre-patch Razorback from Black Ops 3, like the beta Razorback from Black Ops 3. It just has a very good, like, steady fire rate, almost no recoil, and pretty high damage for a submachine gun. So it's able to melt people at medium range and even up close, so you can see right there. It's kind of a joke sometimes. Um, but compared to the WAF, or WAF, it doesn't really kill nearly as fast up close. But uh, for medium and long range, it's probably the best sub in my opinion. Again, the PPSH is also really good, and a lot of people are liking that. But for some reason, I just don't like how that gun feels, and I can't really use it that well for some reason, although I can go off with these two weapons. Um, but I've heard a lot of people tell me the PPSH is really good, so if you can't kind of if you really can't find a sweet spot between these two weapons, I'd recommend trying out the PPSH. But again, the WAF sort of has the fastest fire rate in the game. It's somewhat unrealistic. Um, it fires probably around 950 to 1,000 rounds per minute, um, which is completely unrealistic as far as World War II goes. The fastest weapons were firing around 600 rounds per minute, at least the fastest handheld weapons. And this weapon is just nowhere near that. It's quite unrealistic, and you can see me completely beam that kid right there. Um, but it is a game, so obviously we can give them a bit of an exception. And it just absolutely melts. It has the fastest time to kill in the game other than shotguns and sniper rifles. Um, and that's what really just makes it good. For recommended attachments on both, I like running Quick Draw and Grip. Um, I know Quick Draw isn't really useful unless you're standing still. Because uh, when you're sprinting, I watched an exclusive A's video. And he tested it. When you're sprinting, uh, you just aim down sights like you don't have quick draw so coming out of sprint it's not really useful but when sort of just walking around it's really nice to be able to get that quick aim especially when you're like shoulder peeking guys um but if you don't like that i'd recommend running steady aim or advanced rifling on the uh type 100 because the recoil is so low i run uh quick draw and advanced rifling but then on the waff because of how high the recoil is honestly insanely high until you get used to it i just run quick draw and grip and lastly, I just recommend running Gunslinger on both of these, um, especially with submachine guns in general. Gunslinger is kind of a crutch perk. It just allows you to get that really fast sprint out time that you don't really get at all in this game because the sprint out time is kind of abysmal without it. Uh, one of the slowest in actually recent CODs, um, not even recent CODs, but one of the slowest in COD ever. So I recommend running Gunslinger if you want to reduce that sprint out time. But uh, that's what it was video guys, tell me what you think about these guns down below in the comment section. I know the STG is still pretty good and the PPSH are good as well, but these are my two favorite guns and what I think are the two best guns in the game right now. But uh, that's what it was video guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.